Hi, my name is Ruben Duarte, I am a GIS specialist and this is a series on how to create an interactive map from scratch. In this series, you will be able to follow along over 19 episodes with every step I used to transform the image-based map of the Santo Inácio Zoo located in northern Portugal into a fully interactive map. In the first episodes, we will draw all the elements that make up the original zoo map, creating a layered vector file always using the Adobe Illustrator software. Between episodes 1 and 7, we will explore various tools of this software to create multiple layers. Once the entire map is vectorized, we will export the project as an SVG file and begin working on the code using VS Code. We will start by integrating the SVG file into an HTML page for desktop and we will use various CSS techniques to enhance the style on the final project. Finally, with JavaScript, we will create several functions that will allow us to interact with the map. Now that we are here on the map, so uh, we have uh, a navigation bar that we will create right here at the left. We have these, uh, these links we can click. If we click here, for example, we go to the website of the zoo, the original website of the zoo. Here, for example, we can go directly to a place where we can buy tickets also for the zoo. And uh, we have here the, uh, a little animation I created to, for the animals. So if we click on animals, all the animals like bounce a little bit uh, from the map. Uh, we have the rules here, a pop-up that appears in, in the middle of the page. We can close these rules pop-up by clicking here on these on this background or we can also click on close or in this X uh, to close the, the page. Then we have uh, several several uh, buttons we can click to highlight some information on the map. These information gift shop, picnic area, playground, toilets, coffee shop and parking. So if we click for example here on coffee shop, the map highlights all the, all the coffee shops from the map. Also, uh, we I created the same for the toilets, for the for the parking as well, playground, uh, picnic area, and a gift shop, and also the informations right here. Okay. Then here on the the bottom left we have background mu music, so we have this this clickable button here, so we can turn on or turn off a background music. We also have uh, an animation for the trees, so every time I over the mouse over the trees they shake a little bit and emit a sound. And if we hover the mouse over every animal we have um, a little box that appears with some information, a photo of the animal and also this bar um, that tells us the, the conservation status of each, uh, each animal. Okay. So then if we go here to the right, we have uh, these icons of each social network um, of, the, of the zoo. So if we click on each one of these, of these icons, we will go directly to the, to the web page. In this case, it's the Facebook of the Santo Inácio Zoo. Uh, and then we also will create these videos. So this, if we click here, a random video for the, the YouTube page of the of the zoo will appear here in the middle of the screen as well. So uh, for example, this is episode eight. And if we click again, a random video will pop up from the YouTube uh, video. Okay. So this is what we will create for this tutorial. That's all for today. Now I kindly ask you to subscribe to the channel and stay tuned for the release of all the episodes.